your daily 180, 180 seconds of pure Bible study. The value of a soul. We're in Luke chapter 15, and we're going to talk about the parable of the prodigal son. You know the story most likely, the prodigal son. He, he wanted his inheritance now. And the father granted his wish, and the son went off into a far country, and he squandered his money in riotous living. And pretty soon, the land was in a famine. He was out of money. He was out of friends. And he went and he attached himself to a farmer, and he was feeding the pigs. And in verse number 16, it says, And he would gladly have filled his stomach with the pods that the swine ate, and no one gave him anything. He had reached as low as he could possibly get for a fine young Jewish boy to be feeding pigs, swine, that which is unclean. Furthermore, even thinking about eating what they were eating. But the text says in verse 17, but when he came to himself, when he came to his senses and he says, what's wrong with me? He decided, I'm going home. In my father's house, even the servants are treated better than I am being treated right now. And I'll go home and I'll say, I'm not worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your servants. And so as he's going home and he's re re rehearsing this little speech that he's going to give to his father, while he was still a great way off, verse 20, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. Now why in the world would the father so openly greet him and welcome him home. Well, the father realizes the son has repented. He's coming home. He wants to do what's right. But there's something else. This father represents God. And God is telling us that's the way he feels about sin, sinners, and forgiveness. Because of the value of a soul, he welcomes this son back. And he'll say three times in this, sec in this text, my son was dead and now he is alive. And he says, that's something to rejoice over. It might be that you've wandered away from what's right. It may be that you don't know what's right. Do you know that you need to study God's word, believe it with all your heart, repent of every sin, confess your faith in Christ and be baptized for the forgiveness of sins? We'd like to help you understand that. Send us an email and we'll do anything that we can for you. Join us again for your daily 180.